Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kutek here, bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, happy Sunday. And today I want to go over my, my new resume that I created that helped me get my job as a sysadmin. And I also added my current job in there on this resume. So obviously, if you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Let me uh, share my screen and we'll get started. Okay. So screen one. There you go. So this is my, my current resume. Obviously, I, I added some more stuff to it because I, 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 I'm doing more than I work more than two jobs right now. Actually, I work more than two jobs. Yeah, I actually do. I, I do internships as well. But and besides that, I do work two different jobs, uh, one of them being a sys analyst or system admin and the other one being a technical trainer, technical instructor. So as you can see on my resume, I have I have added my email address because uh, you need you obviously you need to have something where they could contact you. Right. So the email address is up there on the top. This is my LinkedIn profile. So if you guys want to add me, I always post useful, I always post motivational stuff on my LinkedIn profile. And I post useful content that is IT support, desktop support, help desk. So you guys could add me if you like. It's entirely up to you. That is my LinkedIn URL. On the bottom, it is in, uh, technical in-depth knowledge of Microsoft Windows 7, 8, 10, Server 2012, Server uh, 2016, Server 2019. Office 365 admin, as well as experience with Mac OS X, virtual machines, and Ubuntu. Uh, syncing Active Directory accounts on Azure AD Connect, because why is that there? It's because a lot of companies are in a hybrid environment, so you need to understand about AD Connect and how that works in the job environment. Uh, experience with Active Directory, the ACP, DNS, and various other server roles, like creating and adding users to group policy, train and mentor new techs in IT through mock interviews, uh, tech hands-on training, experience in mobile devices such, such as Android phones, tablets, iPhones, phone repairs. I used to be a phone repair Apple guy. If you guys don't know that, I used to fix re do repairs for Apple. That's what I've done before. Uh, creating educational videos on YouTube to train new people in information technology. I have a YouTube channel, so obviously I'm going to add it in here. And yeah, and this is the this is my current job. I work as a sysadmin. So if you guys now now you guys are going to actually understand what I do in my current job. So. Managing Wi-Fi devices on Cisco Meraki. I actually work with Exchange Admin as well. I troubleshoot VPN issues using Okta. I am an Okta admin. I am a Zoom admin as well. I help people with mobile iron on their devices. I create virtual desktops on Citrix Cloud. I manage and execute tasks related to employee onboarding, moves, and terminations. I manage users on Google Workspace because I work for an MSP. So when you work for an MSP, you have access to a bunch of different things. Uh, creating resource groups and VMs on Azure. I also do stuff on uh, AWS as well. So I, I am work, I'm working with Azure, AWS, machine learning. Uh, we have a bot that does automation that actually resets and unlocks your account. If you, if you go to Slack and you look for the bot, it actually does it automatically on the fly. So if you have issues with, with basically your account or you're locked out, we have a bot that actually automates it and does it for you automatically. Uh, adding, removing full plans on AT&T Verizon is what I'm doing right now. Why listing blacklisting websites on Pablo Alto, creating documentations for software applications using ServiceNow. And also in this particular role, I'm a sysadmin, but I'm also training IT level one help desk team folks in, in a hedge fund that I'm working for. So it's a, it's a little complicated because I work for an MSP, but then I work on site for a hedge fund and the hedge fund paid to have me there on site. So I, I actually do a best of both worlds. I do IT support level one, level two, in the hedge fund, and then I do sysadmin and the MSP. And uh, sit in the MSP, I, I don't really do anything there because I'm working for the client on site. So I have access to everything. So if they need me to do something, I will do whatever they ask me to do. I'll take care of it right away. And we train help desk folks. So, so it's, it's very, it's an interesting role. It's a little bit of everything. I, I'm actually being exposed to more technologies. I'm learning a lot more. You'll definitely see, if I have Octa right here on my, on my, um, description, you're definitely going to see a YouTube video on that and Zoom administration as well, and probably a, a video on, a, on Azure and AWS. So at some point, you'll probably see videos on that and Pablo Alto as well, because I never made a video on that. All right. So going back, back here at the bottom, so you see how I have Tech Skills Institute. The reason why I added them here is because um, I don't have to hide their information because I'm friends with them and they're okay with me talking about them. So that's the reason why I have them here. But if I add my, my other jobs here, if you look at all the jobs here, I'm supposed to have the name of the companies. I don't add it here because I don't want to, I don't want to get in trouble, if that makes sense. And, you know, this, this doesn't look good on 
making a YouTube video, people complain about, oh, why you have us there? You know, it's, it's a legal thing. You can't do that on YouTube. I don't know if you guys know that. It's a legal thing. You can't have the company name on your resume if you're making a video on it on YouTube. It's a legal thing that you sign as a document. Anyway, yeah, so this is like very straightforward. So it's a strange students on Windows 10, train students in Active Directory, train students with practice mock interviews and tech testing, train students with soft skills and customer service. That's what I have. And it's just September 2021 to present. This company here, I've been here for two years and I left the company recently to September, right? See, these two jobs, I got them at the same time. So I was a technical trainer, or I am a currently a technical trainer, and I also work as a sysadmin. And this job, where I worked, I worked for uh, directly with the CEO as IT support main guy. I assist the CEO, CFO, CRO, CCO with video conferencing calls. We, we, we were working with different technologies. Uh, we would use ServiceNow. We had ticketing remedying system. Now we're using ServiceNow. I use BumGuard, uh, SSAM to remote into people's computers. I manage Office 365. I manage Cisco Call Manager. I manage MDM with Moss 360. I manage uh, imaging desktops with Ivanti. I created users on Active Directory. I actually was an admin for Slack. You'll probably see a video on Slack at some point. Um, what else over here? Oh, also troubleshoot Cisco VPN issues with two-factor authentication using dual. Uh, yeah, this is Cisco phones and, and mailboxes. I actually assign phone numbers to, to people. If they don't have a phone, I'll give you a phone, basically. Uh, this other job, I was a consultant, senior help desk, and that's my title. That's what they gave me as a title. It's technically not <laughs> technically not senior help desk. Uh, setting up new users, desktops, patching new locations to Cisco uh, patch panel. I was configuring uh, VoIP phones, troubleshooting virtual desktops, VDIs, Citrix VDIs. VMware, setting up video conferencing, audio bridges, Active Directory. So I was in charge of, of setting up video calls. So someone would call me like, Kev, you know how it is when you work IT. Kev, I have a meeting in five minutes. Can you help me set it up real quick? I'm like, yeah, yeah, sure. And I go into the, in the conference room and I set up the video call. Um, install and configure dual authentication for users. Uh, Active Directory again. So Active Directory, I had, I had access to server manager. So in this in this particular environment, I would remote into the server and I would have access to everything on the server. So it's a little more, more in depth. Uh, assist executives with software applications so, such as Bloomberg, CapIQ. So these, these, are, these are like uh, hedge fund applications. So if you ever want to make a lot of money uh, for IT support, learn, learn Bloomberg, learn CapIQ, learn Macabacus and a couple other applications that they use for trading because they make money out of it. So if they make money out of it, you make money out of it since you know how to troubleshoot it. Uh, configure, oh, and Salesforce. Uh, configure VLANs and router switches. Configure and set up Citrix VDI desktops. And I was working with, with uh, wireless access points, Cisco Meraki and stuff like that. That's basically what I did here. Actually, there's more stuff here. You notice I've been there for a year. Uh, this other job too, I've been here for a year. About a year and a couple of months. This one took about a year, year or so. Because um, I was a consultant. So when you're a consultant, uh, I didn't get all the benefits and I wasn't hired as a full-time employee. So that's the reason why I left that company. They weren't giving me the full benefits and they didn't have money to afford me, if that makes sense. Same thing with this company, they didn't have money to afford me. Uh, same thing, Mobile Iron, Troubleshoot, uh, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, uh, Swap Out Computers, Monitors, Laptops. Same thing, Troubleshoot, Bloomberg, Invest Trend is a trading software. Like Cabicus, Cap IQ, because all these all these financial applications they help you do make a lot of money. So you can make over 100k, uh, 80k to probably 80k or higher because you're working with uh, trading software, and those things make a lot of money. Like I said, if you know how to troubleshoot that, you're actually helping the company make money. So they're gonna they're gonna uh, give you an incentive for that by giving you a higher salary or just give pay, pay you with bonuses and stuff like that. Uh, set up work related emails, mobile iron, iPhones. Provide AT and T travel phone travel phone uh, plan. I did. I'm doing that in my current job. If you notice a little bit in the left over here, uh, we did have a ticketing system here. Uh, in my in my last job, I was closing 30 to 45 tickets a day. If you guys don't know, I, I used to close 12 uh, 1,200 tickets in a month. Not to toot my own horn, but I very, I was very aggressive with closing tickets because I don't like customers waiting. I don't like people waiting for their issues and I don't like escalating tickets if I know how to fix it. So that's just how I am. Uh, all right, the other one, the last one, IT support engineer, RSA, software tokens, Google Authenticator, Cisco phones, uh, phones with uh, Cisco call manager, Active Directory again, the throwback server 2012 R2, 
uh, adding users to distribution groups, configuring setting up mobile devices using mobile iron server, um, repair and replace computer components such as memory, graphics cards, and hard drives on site to three to four, three to five hedge funds. This is an MSP company, if you guys are wondering. Uh, obviously, I you know the typo right here with this, so I'm just gonna space it back. There we go. And then education. So there's uh, I went to John Jay. Never, I'm, a, I'm a college dropout. So if you guys don't know, I, I didn't finish college, but I do have a lot of work experience, as you can see on my resume. Uh, CompTIA A+, got it in 2014. It's expired now. Uh, Apple certified Macintosh technician, 2015. Uh, this is good for life. Uh, Lenovo, the Lenovo certification, this is good for life. These are certifications for different types of the Lenovo desktops, PCs, and laptops. Uh, I volunteered for the NYPD 2008 to 2011. So I've been in the, I was a volunteer for, I worked for the NYPD. If you guys don't know, I used to be part of the NYPD. I used to work for the NYPD and I was auxiliary police officer. And now I have the current thing right here, Rice is Cyber. I'm working with Rice is Cyber. If you guys don't know, I'm partnering with them. I'm officially a partner with them and I'm working on uh, changing and educating high school students and college students and helping educate minorities and people that don't have money in rural areas that are poor. So that's basically what this is all about. This is why I have it here. I volunteer for that and trying to just change the world, you know, in IT. That's just how I always been. I try to help people. Hopefully we get to do something and hopefully we get to help and educate a bunch of people for free and, and just change their lives. All right. And that's it. That's pretty much my resume. If you guys can see, uh, it's a lot of stuff. I've been in IT for a while now, probably about six, seven years now. Uh, and, and this is... This is the resume that actually got me over 100K because I've, I've done a lot of different things. I just don't, don't reset passwords all day. Um, this, this is the IT support job right here, engineer, MSP. When I left this job and I went to the next, because it's MSP. MSP, you get a lot of exposure to a lot of different technologies. When I left this job, I went to this job. This is where I was making 100K right here, this job. This is a game changer right here. This MSP job experience was a game changer for me. I went here over 100K, over 100K, over 100K. Over 100K, over 100K. So these are all game changers for me. So that's why I tell people like MSP jobs are very stressful and fast paced. I agree with that. But at the same time, if you want to be exposed to a lot of different things, I recommend you work in that environment. So and it's going to help your resume too. So that's it. That's pretty much it. Um, obviously, I'm not going to put it on my, on my YouTube channel description to download this. Well, you guys have a rough idea of how my resume looks like. It's a brand new resume that I've been using. Um, that's it. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a good day. And I hope this uh, gives you some information of how your resume should look like if you already have job experience. If you don't have job experience, obviously, it's only going to be one page. We don't make it two pages. If you have no job experience, it doesn't make any sense. With that being said, I hope you guys have a good day and I hope you guys have a good Sunday. Take care. Peace.